Welcome biologists to part two of photosynthetic pigments. In this video, we're going to take a look at thin layer chromatography of photosynthetic pigments. So usually what you do is you have your plant sample and the first thing you would do is to crush it using a pestle and mortar. Now what this helps to do is to break the cell wall and, and some of the membranes to release those photosynthetic pigments that should be inside of the chloroplast. So don't forget the chloroplast has that um, membrane around it as well, that double membrane which needs to be broken as well. So once you release those photosynthetic pigments and you've got a kind of a paste in there, you'd use a capillary tube in to put a small dot of the mixture onto a pencil line that you've drawn on ethan layer chromatography. Now, this phase is called the stationary phase because nothing's moving. And what we use here is silica gel. Now, although gel implies that it might be more of a liquid solution, actually the liquid is dried onto these pieces of, if you like, plastic, um, which is why it's still called silica gel, even though it's dried silica gel. So we, would, we must draw the line with a pencil so that the um, line doesn't get dissolved within my solvent, which is what is added next. Um, but we must handle this thin layer chromatography um, made with silica gel. We must handle it with very care because amino acids on our hands might contaminate it and we don't want that to happen. Um, now we've got to draw um, this with a pencil line so that the solvent doesn't dissolve it like we mentioned before. And what we've got to do as well is make sure that the pigment um, dries in between applications because we need to make it as concentrated as possible. Um, so what we do here is we put a dot on the line, allow it to dry, and then put another dot on and allow it to dry. Now you normally do this about 10 times so the dot's really, really concentrated. What you'd then do is you'd put the whole of the, the thin layer chromatogram into a solvent. And this becomes a mobile phase now where the solvent will dissolve the, the photosynthetic pigments and take them up the chromatogram. Now, again, we've got to make sure here that the solvent must be below the pencil line. Otherwise, our pigments will just go straight down into the solvent, which we don't want. We want them to separate out on the chromatogram. So the smaller photosynthetic pigments will travel further up the chromatogram because there's less resistance between them and the, and the cilia gel, silica gel. Um, so what you then do is you calculate your RF values. Now, as you can see on this particular chromatogram, you do get beautiful colours when you do this with photosynthetic pigments. You can see where the different pigments end. So what you would do is you do the distance moved by the compound over the distance moved by the solvent. So that's the solvent front. So you'd be doing the distance moved by the compound. So if I can from here to here divided by, for example, here to here, the solvent front. So the solvent up from the origin to the solvent front always goes on the bottom. Now, you usually measure in millimetres because it's more accurate than measuring in centimetres. So, for example, that would be on the top, and then you divide that by the solvent front measuring in millimetres. Now, what you would then do is you can compare the RF value to known RF values. So, say, for example, you get an RF value of 0.42, you would know from this table of known standard RF values, that that RF value would be, for example, uh, chlorophyll B, and that pigment there would be chlorophyll B. All right, um, so in an exam, you do need to be prepared to be able to uh, guesstimate and estimate what a, a pigment might be from a chromatogram. You do need to be able to calculate RF values correctly as well. So um, those are the um, correct pigments there on that um, chromatogram. And that's pretty much all that you need to know on photosynthetic pigments and thin layer chromatography. Good luck with your exams and all the best.